poisonous guest. Scientists say first interstellar comet has huge concentration of carbon monoxide. Boris, uh, the, com the interstellar comet Boris, that's not the first. The first one was uh, the one that came very fast. That was the Umwamwa. Borisov was the second one in two years. Borisov, 2i, discovered by Russian engineer and telescope maker. He was an amateur, of course, astronomer. He made his own telescope. Gennady Borisov, he discovered that beginning of August 2019. The comet, including its tail and coma, a cloud of dust and gas, is 14 times bigger than our Earth. The first known interstellar comet to visit our solar system that was not the first. The first one was the Umamwa, uh, has a huge concentration of carbon monoxide, this Borisov uh, comet. This is what a new study conducted by an international team of scientists led by researchers from NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center says. They were studying images captured by the ALMA, the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array, ALMA for short. That's in Chile. The scientists analyzed the composition of 2i Borisov, and the findings were published in the journal Nature Astronomy. Martin Cordiner, member of the research team, said, this is the first time we've ever looked inside a comet from outside our solar system. It's dramatically different from most other comets we've seen before. They identified two molecules present in the gas ejected by that comet, hydrogen cyanide. We know the cyanide, you know, like the cyanide pills the spies used to take. It's very, very poisonous. Hydrogen cyanide and carbon monoxide. Both chemical compounds have been found in comets in our solar system, but the amount of carbon monoxide in 2i Borisov is 26 times higher than the average comet in our solar system. 26 times more. Scientists say this surprising detail points to the fact that the Borisov originated from an extremely cold star system. Dr. Stephanie Milam says the comet must have formed from material very rich in carbon monoxide ice, which is only present at the lowest temperatures found in space, that's minus 250 degrees Celsius, which is minus 420 degrees Fahrenheit. Dr. Cordiner said the ALMA telescope previously observed disks of dust and gas surrounding young low star, mat, mat, low mass stars, similar to our sun. These disks from which planets are formed contain extremely cold gas, and it's possible that the Borisov interstellar comet originated there, he said. Another theory was voiced by Dennis Bodowitz of Auburn University in Alabama. Dr. Bodowitz and other U.S. scientists also studied this comet. He claims that it could have originated around a red dwarf star. That's how Borisov ended up in our solar system. Astronomers say it's likely that it was ejected from its star system due to an encounter with a passing star or a giant planet. The scientists say the celestial object spent millions or even billions of years hurtling through space before it was discovered by Yenadi Borisov beginning of August of last year. The Borisov is the second known interstellar object to visit our solar system. The first was the cigar-shaped Umwamwa, which prompted numerous scientific theories the latest study claimed, claims Umama was part of a destroyed planet. This is on Sputnik News. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on, not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today more of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help 
economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota. And we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.